Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we will be playing Rooftops and Alleys, an amazing parkour game that many call the Skate 3 of parkour, made by a solo developer and ML Media Studios. It is absolutely amazing. Show it some love. On Steam, it costs about 744 rupees and $15 in USD. Let's get into it. So I have played this game a little bit before, but not that much. I mean, I've gotten gold times on uh, this map, but uh, yeah. First of all, I recommend playing with controller. Playing with controller is the best possible way to play this game. Yeah. So this game is by far one of the best parkour games that I have seen. Mainly because of the amount of freedom it gets you. As an example, how, can you do this in Mirror's Edge? Yes, I know all of you Mirror's Edge fans are gonna go, Oh, wait, no! But Mirror's Edge is better, it's the classic! But understand that you are blinded by nostalgia. And before you say, But it doesn't have first person, it does. And more realistic first person than you could ever hope of. Like, look at this. It does not care for those with motion sickness whatsoever. Those with motion sickness are going to have a stroke. They're gonna vomit. They're gonna cause a vomit flood. Okay, they're not showing any mercy. And if you do have motion sickness, they do have something in the settings to help you. We have the stabilized first person mode. Which is well stabilized. As you can see here. Thankfully, ragdolls aren't, uh, you know, exactly... Did I just manage to do that trick? Wait, I've never been able to do the backflip, Jesus. Is first person just better? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. I just did it into a wall. I am now back from the dead. Because I landed a Jesus backflip. Let's do a street yard, st steel yard trial one. God, I can't speak English. I've done this before, but I'm not as good since I haven't played this in a while. Now, let's start. What even happened there? Wh what do you... What? Okay. Yeah, I, I think it's the wood plant. Start doing these stride thingies, but I love striding. It's so it's just satisfying. And I didn't get gold time, but I got silver. That's that's pretty good, cause I haven't played this game in a while. Wait, I missed that. Why? I'm never even gonna make it to the next area. I'm just gonna be stuck on steel. Wait! I thought I didn't hit that. And then I messed up the entire thing. Are you kidding me? 21. Ah. Uh. Oh, because of that dive. You know what? Let's try it again. No more, no more fancy tricks. I sure do love ragdoll noises. Ah! Gutuk, gutuk, gutuk. I am back. Let's do this. Well, uh... We're not getting this record, are we? Jesus! Wee! Wee! 
I think I just sacrificed this entire challenge because of that. I have to do this again and again. As I said, the game's not exactly for beginners. So, uh, you want to make sure that you can handle a little bit of frustration. Otherwise, you're fine. The game is a very nice community. Everybody's helping each other. All the time. I got it. So, usually, most people in the games community help each other a lot. It's not toxic at all, surprisingly. I mean, consider... Considering a lot of other games, it's surprisingly not toxic. And that's a lot to say, especially for an indie game. So... I feel like one thing the game could use is like kind of like that bone-breaking thing from Skate 3. Sure, you can still kind of feel the pain, but only if it's something that'll hurt like a lot, a lot in your life. You don't actually get to see any of the actual broken bones that you would normally get from doing something like this. Did I manage to land that? Okay, from doing something like that. It, you just wall slide down, but I feel like increasing the amount of ragdolls would make it skate 3-bit parkour. And uh, that in itself is... Sounds amazing. Like that. No normally, most people wouldn't really call that painful because it's in a video game, but in real life, it would be very painful. And uh, the Skate series portrays that perfectly with the broken bones thing. And uh, rewarding you for how much you have hurt yourself. Sure, maybe that's not something they should add, but uh, you get the point. I mean, that over there, that, that would have broken my ankles if that were real life. You know? I, I want to try something. I know I can wall eject by pressing one of the buttons. But I don't know. Oh, I just did it. I just did it. I just did it. Oh, I did it. Let's go. One of the best things about this game is the happiness you feel from, uh, you know, when you hit a trick successfully. The happiness is unmatched. It might look simple, but uh, trust me, it's not. And uh, some things about this game are pretty interesting. It's a pretty interesting developer choice. Uh, as an example, it is easier to do this than it is to do this on a bar. <laughs> it's easier to do a side flip than to do uh, this. I'm trying to land on that bar, as you can see, right? I know my insight might not help the developer much, but it's certainly something. I want to see. I was so close! I was so close, I could have hit that. And then we have all the amount of tricks you can do. We have the we have the Jesus backflip. Which is surprisingly hard to hit. But uh I guess I am better now. And then we have the problem of zip lines. I feel like there should just be a prompt for the zip lines because normally it's extremely hard to do those. I don't know why, but it's like the most painful thing in the entire world. What What did I just do there? The only trick on A that I know how to do is backflip Jesus. I can do a gainer. But as I said, you saw that, right? My head just clipped through the wall over there. See? I feel like the ragdoll system could be more improved and the collisions on everything could be, you know... Just overall more. And next of all, we have in the first person camera. So normally there are not there's nothing wrong in the first person camera. Except if I walk up to a wall, this happens. See uh, see I'm clipping through the wall. I feel like it 
it would be better just to temporarily switch to third person or something when that happens because otherwise it can be really annoying and it can mess up a lot of good looking tricks oh what did I just do there I know I did like a cork thingy but wait And it's been like, what, 3-4 months since the release of this game? And it already has like, hundreds of mods. Like, not joking, there are hundreds of mods. And the best part is that, the developer encourages mods. He made a Discord server, uh, Rooftops and Alley's Discord, it's public, you can join it. And uh, the best part about that, the best part about the Discord server, is that there is a mods page and there's like 500 mods in that alone and then we have more mods on nexus mods and then uh, there's just an overall welcomingness in the community everybody's just happy to have you there it's not like apex in which you have to talk about oh i'm so good at apex yay that's just and then there are full ports of, uh, you know, actually I have a full port of the Skate 3 map installed. I'll just uh, load it up. It's the downtown map. So this is the downtown map, but for some reason it's a little glitchy. I don't know why. So I'm just gonna, you know, try and change some settings. Right, let's just temporarily turn our graphic settings to potato. And that's that. I don't know why this is happening, it's never exactly happened before. And of course, all mods have their bugs, but uh... Did I mention that there's more tricks you can do in two cartwheels? No, let me, let me try and chain three tricks together. Why isn't it working? No! Wait. Just wait one second, let me just fix it, because this has not happened before. I am so sorry. Tutorial. Advanced. I use custom mod loader, which is uh, which just replaces the advanced tutorial. Let's try. See. Down. Down. Now spam the load button. This is the best way to get it to load fast. Yay! Now let's just hope it loads. Yeah, it's, it's loading alright. Yeah, see the... I'm gonna have to fix that later. That is for sure. Uh, oh, however, there are some other maps as well. There are a lot of other maps. And I do have some others downloaded. We have... Uh, Industrial as well. Of course, these are all custom downloaded maps. These are not... Uh, built in. With the actual game, you're gonna have to go to the community area and download. So we have Wick Warehouse. Wick Warehouse is pretty fun. So let's load Wick Warehouse. It's a small map, but there's a lot of stuff you can do. Uh, there's a lot of good lines. Oh, this isn't working either. Oh, what? Yeah, everything is... Well, we'll, uh, we'll check out the custom maps next video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more, please like and subscribe. And check out Rooftop Alleys in Steam once again, I'm telling you. It is an amazing game. It deserves some love. So, uh, just give it a shot. Just try it. Anyway, peace.